Hey guys, welcome back to TechIt and another uh, tutorial. So this time I'm quite excited. We're going to have a look at wireless redstone, which is absolutely amazing. And most people don't use it, which is a shame because it's really cool. Uh, so let's get right into it, shall we? Um, I'm just going to teach you how to make everything and then I'll show you what it does. Uh, or at least halfway through, sorry. Um, cool. So let's get started. First, we make an obsidian stick, which is just two pieces of obsidian. Nice. And then we make an R Ever Pet Pearl, which is um, an ender pearl with some glowstone and redstone. Pretty easy. And then with that, we combine these two and we make the wireless transceiver. Now you can only at least two or three of those, so just make a couple, you know. Um, and then we're going to need some stone wafers, which is just some cooked stone. Uh, so cobblestone, cook it, make stone, again cook it, and that makes these stone wafers. And with these stone wafers, we want to make a couple of stone wires. And that's just redstone and stone wafer. And also keep a couple of just empty stone wafers because you're going to need those as well. So that's pretty much all we need. Um, so now let's get on and make the wireless transmitter. Uh, so this thing is made using the transceiver, the stick, a wafer, and two uh, stone wires. And it makes you a wireless transmitter. And I've got two in my inventory already. So cool. Uh, so that will send the um, redstone pulses. As, as when it's powered. So if I put one here, for example, uh, if I give it a redstone pulse, you can see it turns on. And I'll show you how to do that later on. So uh, to make the receiving end, we need first uh, to make a stone ball, which is this free stone, easy. And we combine that with the wireless transceiver, which is the same thing we made earlier, uh, which is a receiver dish then. And then with that, we make the wireless receiver. So it's the same recipe as the transmitter, except for this is a receiver dish now. So nice and easy. Nice and easy. So I've got a couple of receivers as well. So the way this works, I've got a transmitter here, and let's put the receiver. I don't know. Let's just uh, let's put it here <laughs> with a lamp in front of it. So at the moment, you see these numbers are zero, and this one is zero as well. Um, so you have to make sure that these are on the same frequencies. Now zero is not working. So make it, for example, 10. You can go up to 5,000. So there's a lot of different possibilities. 10. And then as soon as we give power to this thing, the lamp should turn on. Now, if I oh, if I change this to, say, 9, the lamp will turn off because the receiver is still on 10. Uh, and that's sort of how it works. So very easy. Uh, now, this is sort of the basic functionality for if you're playing single player. If you are playing multiplayer, there's a lot of other cool stuff you can do, which I'll show you as well. Uh, so let's get started on that. If you're not playing um, on multiplayer, the rest is probably not as useful for you, but you know, you might as well watch because it's kind of fun. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, we need a blaze trans transceiver. Uh, so you make this the exact same way, except for the obsidian stick, you use a blaze rod, but it's the same pearl. So that makes you a blaze transceiver. Now with the blaze transceiver, you're going to make it like that. So exactly the same recipe. You just um, replace all the obsidian sticks with blaze rods. And it makes you the wireless jammer. So I've got eight here apparently. Now, this thing works a little bit strangely to be honest. Um, I was testing it out earlier. And if you put it down, you would imagine it would jam this system there. But it doesn't. As you can see, wait, wait for it. Eventually, it's going to pulse like that. Now, it always tries to target people or mobs first. So if you wanted to jam systems, you actually have to get out of the way. And then every 10 seconds, it pulses. So the next pulse should be targeted at the transmitter. There we go. And as you can see, the lamp goes off. And now it's actually targeting other stuff as well. <laughs> uh, and I think they stay off for about 30 seconds, if I'm right. So that's pretty okay, you know, that's pretty good. And eventually it'll turn on again, although it's a bit buggy sometimes that it doesn't turn on again. <laughs> uh, that's why they banned on a lot of servers as well. Uh, so that's the jammer. Now it's a bit immobile, you know, you have to place it down and stuff. It's not, not as much fun. Uh, so let's move on to something really cool that I really like. Um, and we're just going to hope that this turns on again, or if, I'm, if it's bugged out, I'll just have to place a new one. So let's make a triangulator. Now you're going to need four iron ingots and a normal wireless transceiver, so the one with the obsidian stick. 
and it makes you this triangulator. Now this thing is like a compass, and it checks for any um, a wireless transmitting devices. So for example, this one is on, but my compass doesn't show anything, my triangulator. Um, and that's because you have to shift, hold shift and right click, and you get this. And you have to set it to the same frequency. So say frequency 10. And suddenly I have a compass and it tells me where the nearest transmitting device is that is set to the same frequency. Uh, so this is pretty cool actually. It, it might work as a compass. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cheap to make as well. So that's your triangulator. Now, you can use the triangulator uh, with some paper around it to make a wireless map. And this thing is just like a normal map, but it shows, I'll just move away a little bit. It shows a red dot for every single thing that is transmitting wireless signals. It's pretty cool. Isn't that cool? So you can see there's a red dot on the map and that's the transmitter there. That's pretty cool. So that's the map. What else can we make? Ah, yes, the wireless sniffer. <laughs> Now, this thing is made using, again, same thing, two receiver dishes, one wireless transceiver, some redstone, stone, and a button, and it gets a wireless sniffer. Now, this thing, um, you can right-click, <coughs> excuse me, and it you can get through all the 5,000 frequencies and, and see which one is active and which one is not. So, as you can see, we've got one active at 10, so it's sort of a light, lighter red. Now this is handy if you've got lots of different wireless transmitters all over the place, just to make sure you're not overlapping or on a multiplayer server. You know, you don't want to see everyone's stuff. Um, you don't want to. Oh, she said that again. Sorry, guys. <laughs> when you're in an area with a lot of people and everyone has wireless transmitters, you don't want to uh, use the same frequencies other people have. So this way, it's sort of easy to see which ones are free. Now, then you also have the private sniffer. Now this is a, a multiplayer only thing. Um, you make it the exact same way, but just with blaze rod receiver dishes and blaze uh, transceivers. So exactly the same recipes, just with blaze rods. And the private sniff is exactly the same thing, um, except for it only shows your transmitters. So say there was another person on the server who was using frequency five, I wouldn't be able to see it with a private sniffer, but I'd be able to see it with the normal sniffer. So yeah, th those are the sniffers, not bad. Now we get to some really cool stuff. I love this. Uh, so let's break this. And let's make a wireless remote. And this is the easiest thing ever to make. It's just one wireless transceiver and a button. This makes it a remote. Now the remote is awesome. So again, hold shift, right click. You can set the frequency. So we set it to 10. And when we right click, we can turn the lamp on and off. We can hold it as well. Just hold right click. That is amazing. Just imagine the stuff you can do with this, you know. You could, um, well, I don't know. You can, you can do anything with it. Uh, doors that open when you when you walk up to them, like an automatic garage door. <laughs> you could have all the lights turn on when you walk into a room and just click it, you know. Um, you can do so much cool stuff with this. So I like this. Good on you. And the last thing I want to show you, which is actually really cool, and I never knew that I was in the game, is an REP. And it's like an EMP, really. <laughs> So you make this using uh, some blaze transceivers, uh, a pearl, and four obsidian, and it gets you these REPs. Now these things are like EMPs, so they're, they're bombs, you throw them, and anything close to it gets uh, uh, gets jammed. So to test it, let's put this, uh, this, uh, this thing back here again. Put that behind it, put it on 10, the light goes on, and we can just throw this at it. Look at that. <laughs> That's jam now. It'll turn on again. Uh, it also makes great fireworks. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Actually, this one doesn't explode till then. Uh, that's because when I right click it, you throw it. And then when you right click again, you can let it explode. This looks pretty awesome if you ask me. Nice. Uh, these work in the deployer as well, by the way, which is pretty awesome if you ask me. Uh, the one thing about these that you have to take into consideration is, um, was this thing going to turn on again soon? Oh, I'll just make another one. Put that to 10 again. Is as far as I'm aware, uh, it does not go through blocks. Uh, so if you, if I would block this off, 
nice and tight. And I would throw one of these things on there. Oh, I think it was too close to the lamp itself. <laughs> uh, no, it actually did turn it off. Oh, that's weird. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, they changed it. In the last patch, if that if, if it's uh, fully in enclosed like this, and you would throw an RAP at it, it wouldn't turn off. Uh, apparently now it does. So, well, now you know that as well. <laughs> Uh, so that's wireless redstone. Uh, I know there's a couple of more items out there with this, um, but I think these are the most interesting ones. Um, I love these RAPs. I can throw them all day. <laughs> and they've, they're they very good to scaring people as well. Like if you're on a multiplayer server, just throw one at someone's house and they're going, what the hell is that, you know? Uh, and they're not that expensive to make if you've got some blaze rods lying around. Uh, so yeah. That was um, Wireless Red Power. Check out my other tutorials, or if you have any tutorials you would like me to make, let me know as well, so I can make them, maybe, if I know. <laughs> and if I don't, I'll do my research, because that's what I try to do usually. <laughs> and yeah, keep watching, guys.